Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a daily ab workout, right team? Of course, strength is a goal of yours. Try and do this workout every single day. It's only 10 minutes long. You don't need any equipment to your mat, your water bottle. Let's get ready to rock. All right, team, so hopping straight into it. No warm up, no cool down, no water break today. Just 10 minutes of straight core work. We're gonna start out with working on some core stability with, of course, the plank. All right, team, we got a one minute plank. So full plank position is palms and toes. If you don't wanna hold this for a minute, it's also okay to drop down to your knees, or maybe you start out on your toes and then drop to your knees as you fatigue or vice versa. All right, team, pick your poison, but we're gonna do a full minute, really trying to work on that core stability. All right, team, let's go ahead and come on down. We got one minute on the clock, hop on up. Let's work. Good. Just hold it. Nice hollow body shape right here. Good. So this is like planks are great for not just core, but shoulder stability and really your full body is working for you. Good team. I do planks at least twice a week, sometimes more. Um, and I'll either come in and hold it for a minute. I'm not really someone who's like just keeps adding on time, but I like to add on intensity. So sometimes I'll come and hold it with like a weight on my back. Um, as you progress and become more advanced, there's only so many, like so much time in the day, you know, so I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not trying to plank for 10 minutes, um, to make it more difficult, but I will increase intensity. Um, I might be biased, but I feel like that's the better method. I only like to work out for like an hour of the day. Not that I like to work out that long, but it's like, that's how much time I can spare each day. Good team. A few more seconds. And some days a full hour is hard to fit in. Good. Beautiful team. Go ahead and drop, shake off those wrists and go ahead and flip on over on to our backs right here. We're gonna come down nice and flat right here. So a couple options here. The easier version is to just to keep the head down on the ground, nice and relaxed. Bring the knees just above hip height right here and then send one leg out back to center. Send the other leg out as low to the ground as you can back to center. Harder version is to hold a crunch and do the same lower body motion from here. All right, team, when you're ready, pick your poison. We got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Good. If you do this slight crunch like I'm doing, make sure you keep those elbows nice and wide. Good. And breathe through it. So much core work is based on good breathing. Good. Exhale as you bring that knee back in. Beautiful, team. Good. Nice strong bodies here. I know that's the thing about core work. I'm like, it's 10 minutes. So it's gonna be an intense 10 minutes. You got this team. Good. Do this every day and you'll feel so strong. Perfect team. Go ahead and drop right here. I'm gonna go ahead and roll over onto the right side right here. Slight bend in the knees and the feet are stacked. I'm gonna come into some side crunches from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring, I'm on my right side. I'm gonna bring the left hand up behind my head right here and squeeze up, squeezing this is left oblique and back down. All right team, we got 30 seconds staying on the same side and then we'll switch sides. When you're ready team, Let's work. Good. And you can bring this right hand out front for stability. Good. Beautiful team. Good. I hear a noise. It sounds like a, like maybe a kitten, but I don't see anything. Good team. Maybe not. There's lots of um, stray cats in Hawaii. So fun fact, I actually keep cat food in my car and little biodegradable bowls in case I see a hungry cat or kitten that needs a little extra help. I also keep a jar of water so I can give them some water. Perfect team, same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and roll on over onto the left side right here. Bend those knees, bring the hands, bring the right hand behind the head right here. 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work, good. The clock is behind me, so I'm gonna <laughs> do my best of trying to keep an eye on it. Good, squeeze into that right oblique. Beautiful team, good. But yeah, they are like, um, Part of the ecosystem. My cousin was just here visiting and she's from Nebraska and so she was commenting on like you just don't see this and it's like I haven't been on um, you know living in the mainland for a while and I was like that's true like I used to never see stray cats but here they're just you know part of the environment. Perfect team. Go ahead and come back to center right here. Bend those knees, grab onto the backs of those legs and use that to roll on up. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and come into some reach back. So a couple options here. You can bring the feet down to the ground right here, lean back so those abs are engaged and then just rotate the right hand back to the right back corner, back to center, take the left hand towards the back left corner, back to center. Harder version, keep the feet off the ground and same thing. 
reach back from here. Requires a little more core stability and maybe a little less lumpy of a ground. All right, <laughs> when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Pop on up or keep the feet down either way, but lean back so those abs are engaged and let's work. Good. Beautiful team. If you are like me and you're balancing on your butt on an uneven surface, just move nice and slow. Good. Today is about really recruiting those core muscles where it's not a cardio workout, so you don't need to speed up. Nice and controlled movements. Good. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling it. My core is turned on. Fire it. Good. Nice strong abs. Perfect team. Beautiful. Shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and flip on over as we come into some strict mountain climbers. So some people do mountain climbers. You'll come onto palms and toes right here. Some people do mountain climbers for speed. I'm really gonna encourage you to take your time right here and try to actually bring knee to elbow and back, knee to elbow and back. All right, team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Good. Like I said, nice strict movement. Good. Beautiful. My core is fired up after those reach backs. Oh yeah, <laughs> good team. Good, short workout today. Breathe through and stay with me. Good, I've got about 10 seconds left. Good. Hollow out through that body. Beautiful. Might go get some shaved ice after this. Sounds yummy. Perfect team. Go ahead and drop, shake it off. As we go ahead and flip back on to our backs right here. We're gonna come into a reverse crunch and then optional with an also upper body crunch. So it looks like this. You're gonna go ahead and bring the hands up behind the head right here. Keep those elbows nice and wide and bring the knees just above the hips. Now from here, you're gonna reverse crunch. So easy version, you're just gonna low reverse crunch, bring those feet down towards the ground and back up. Make sure you're not just bending the knees to get your feet down towards the ground. Just try to keep that nice 90 degree angle and really lower from the hips and back up. All right, team, so that's the easier version. More advanced version is when you crunch back up, you also bring the upper body up to meet it and back down. All right, team, when you're ready, pick your poison. We got 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work. Good. Good, exhale when you crunch everything back together. Good, nice strong core. I know it burns, embrace it. Good, good team. But I promise you, team, if you do this every day, it'll get easier. And won't that be amazing? Good team. 10 minutes of core work can go such a long way. Just a little bit of core work each day. Good. It's also great for injury prevention. Good team. Good, trying to stop um, back pain and all that fun stuff. Perfect team. Go ahead and drop. We're gonna go ahead and come into some circle leg raises. So go ahead and bring the hands underneath the booty for support right here. You can plant down on there. So go ahead and bring both legs straight up. Now from here, you guys know leg raises where you just go up and down. We're gonna do circles. We're gonna go, go ahead and draw it down as low to the ground as you can, and then bring the legs out wide and back up to the top. All right, team, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Good. Take your time with these, nice and slow. Good. Good, nice strong bodies here. Good, breathe through it. Good. Try to keep that lower back press into the ground. Good team. Good. I am feeling this. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do this every day. Right along with you guys, I'm for it. One month challenge, I'm down. Perfect team. Go ahead and drop as we come into a half side plank. So go ahead and roll on up right here. I'm gonna go ahead and come onto my right palm and right knee right here. We're gonna come to a hip dip to a top leg raise. So I'm gonna go ahead and stack the knees. I'm gonna dip the hips down towards the ground. Press up, bring that top leg up. When you press up, bring those hips up nice and high. Squeeze in that oblique, big lift right here, and lift that top leg. Hip dip, leg raise. All right, team, 30 seconds staying on the same side. Then we'll switch sides. When you're ready, team, let's work. Good, beautiful, good team. Working that outer hip, a little bit of shoulder stability. I always love um, anything that has to do with side plank or half side plank or planks. I always think those are such good exercises for total body. Good. Total body strength. Oh yeah. Good. Might be feeling this a little bit in your booty as well. Good. Working those hips. Perfect team. Go ahead and switch. Go ahead and come on over to the left palm and left knee right here. 
stack those legs on the right side right here. Go ahead and hip dip and leg raise on the opposite side. 30 seconds on the clock team, let's work. Bring it down and raise. Good, good. Lift those hips up nice and high. Good team. Beautiful. Good, squeezing that oblique. Lift those hips up as high as you can at the top. Big, big squeeze. Oh yeah. Good. Good team. Good. I got the, the bottom hip is burning from the other side's work. <laughs> team. I love it. Perfect team. Go ahead and drop as we flip back over onto our backs right here as we work on those obliques. So go ahead and come down nice and flat right here. Bring the knees up just above the hips. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the left hand behind their head right here and the right arm down. I'm gonna go ahead and bring left elbow towards right knee and back down. All right, team? 30 seconds staying on the same side and then we'll switch sides. When you're ready, team, let's work. Good. Exhale as you squeeze up. Good, release the air. Good. Big contraction. Oh yeah. Good. Beautiful team. Good. Oh, I can hear the kitten again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go find it. Give it some food. I have a cat at Costco that like, it's a bunch of cats that live in the parking lot over there. Good team, go ahead and drop same thing opposite side. Bring the right hand behind the head right here and go ahead and bring the right elbow towards the left knee. 30 seconds on the clock team, let's work. Um, I have Oh, hi, it's a little cardinal. <laughs> I have a cat that I always feed at Costco. Um, out of this group of cats, he's just like my little buddy. And it's so funny, I'll get out of the car and I'll go, kitty, and he knows it's him and he comes right over, meow, meow. <laughs> I always feed him. Um, it might be a she, he or she. So anyways, yeah, that's my little buddy. And I'm starting to think it's a she. I'm starting to think she might be pregnant. <laughs> I was like, it's not just like she's getting fat. It's like, it's lumpy. I'm like, I think you've got little kittens, which would just, make my day i'd be so happy perfect team go ahead and drop grab the backs of those knees and use that to roll on up we're gonna go ahead and come into some bow extensions in my opinion this is the hardest exercise of this workout but it's also the last exercise so find a nice piece of flat earth to sit on and then go ahead and lean back so those abs are engaged lift the knees up right here just above so you're in boat hold position if you've done yoga this is boat hold then you're gonna release it let it go now if this is plenty of burn perfectly okay to just stay right here. But if you can, you're gonna go ahead and release top and bottom back to center. All right, team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock, pop on up, let's work. Good. Um, so my plan is, or my hope is, I should say, that if it is a she and she is indeed pregnant and not just fat, that she will introduce me to her little kittens. Good team. Because like I'm trying to tell you a story and work out at the same time. So I'm just like, <laughs> not working out as hard. All right, let me focus. Good. Good team. Doing little cheater ones, grabbing onto the legs each time. Perfect team. Go ahead and release down right here. Excellent work today, team. So like I said, no warm up, no cool down, just 10 minutes of straight abs. Do this every single day and you will have such a strong core. It'll get easier each time and you will thank me for it later, right team? I'm totally down for a one month challenge if you guys are down. When you're ready, We'll go ahead and take our farewells for today. So go ahead and on an inhale, bring both arms up overhead. Big clap, make a round of applause, giant on the stay because you deserve it. Then go ahead and bring both palms down to the third eye. I have a whole stick in my hair. Wow. Anyways, all right, team, if you guys enjoyed this workout, please hit the like button and subscribe. So I have new workouts every single week and occasional new recipes and always fun stories. All right, team, the divine in me honors the divine in you. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>